Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we have got our Triceraton Zog from NECA. This piece is super cool. He's a hefty, super big bad boy, and that box is just massive. Like, literally, that box is the size of my head. I think this guy is super sweet. I think he's supposed to be part of the Mirage line, um, which is all of the comic characters and stuff, but, like, he has such, like, a more realism look to him that like i just had to have him and everything i'm not really big on like the tune line stuff but like this guy just looks epic and everything so let's go and pull him out because i'm excited to take a look now then right out of the box as you can see we've got just this big beef cake of a boy so uh, has a separate plastic piece at the back and everything that has like the gun the tail jesus christ he's got a tail and everything too this is so badass but he's got one thing holding his top half in there and this piece here protecting his face like that then we got the big black piece around the back which looks like that's the main thing holding that back piece in then we have got around the feet and the uh, hands there and then around the grenades and stuff and then you can pull this out of the packaging too this is the backdrop in the packaging this is pretty sweet it's small but i mean like you could totally turn this into a dio or just have a little like shoe box diorama out of it you know what i mean this thing's really cool but let's go ahead and pull him out right there we have him out of the box and everything there is our triceraton zog um on the back side of the packaging there is this whole other set that comes with the gun the tail the hands and they are held together on this side with this and this and that's gonna cut in those is gonna allow you to open this we'll get to that in a second in the uh, front part of the packaging you get of course Zog here and uh, he comes with this kind of toony looking knife here big old Bowie knife that he's got pretty cool but a little toony for my taste he also comes with these grenades and everything Oop, we're dropping them but these are pretty cool. Let's see if we can get a good look here. There we go. If you want to stay focused. Two of those. One of these. Pretty cool. And the cool part here is that I think they are supposed to hook on to here uh, I thought they were supposed to hook onto here but it's almost like that's molded to the body uh, now and I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be but let's see if we can take a look here now this part here is that we might be able to get one on him That's going to take some messing about. After some messing about, I ended up taking this and kind of peeling it up, like with the flat side here, to find a few loose spots. There's a loose spot on mine, at least, and I feel like this is going to vary figure by figure. But, like, there was a loose spot up here. And I kind of had to help guide that in. And there was a loose spot down here. Had to help guide that in. And then I just kind of put this other one on his belt here. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe some of them aren't stuck down. It feels like mine is definitely glued down or something like that. Um, but if you look on the back side, you can kind of see where it comes up at. And you can kind of just shove this underneath there and kind of help guide in where you need. Onto actual size here let's take a look at his height let's get a center frame again uh, there we go we are looking at about eight inches a little shy of eight inches about seven and three quarters it looks like he is a pretty big size guy We've got Kong here. And we've got Frankenrath. 
just to give a good size comparison here. Now, like, if you wanted to pair them with the turtles, like the movie line turtles, like, what well, I'm definitely going to do is put them with my movie line stuff. Like, I kind of dig him. Like, he's pretty cool. Um, the movie line turtles sit a little slimmer than this guy, but about roughly the same-ish height. So, keep that in mind. That's kind of how they're going to look. Let's move on to checking out articulation and then tackle the rest of his accessories and getting his tail on because that tail is going to be fun. Tails are usually fun. So, just getting a good close up here. He's got those beady red eyes. That texturing that they got, like it's, it just works so well. They did a really good job with this. Um, no articulation there for the horns. Didn't expect any, just wanted to check. That head, I believe we've got a standard, just like everything else, ball. Like we're used to seeing from NECA. Elongated neck there to go and give you that full articulation. They did a really good job on this because there's no like resistance. I was worried he might have a hard time looking around, but they did that pretty damn well. Uh, his tongue in there. Oh, his tongue has articulation as well. That's pretty cool. So you can move that tongue. That is sweet. NECA needs to do more face feature articulation. They really nail it with that stuff. Like, I mean, it's such a minor thing to be able to open and close your mouth. Uh, just as I'm saying, they really nail it. He's got a little bit of a loose jaw. Not too big of an issue. Because it does hold when you get to that right about there is where it wants to sit. But then here it feels tight. So I don't know. I might need to mess around and find a way to like tighten that up. But this tongue, like it's a ball. You can rotate this. Put it kind of where you want him. That's pretty cool. And if, <laughs> I still think that's really cool. Um, his arms appear... Oh, is that what we got going on here? One thing I don't like is his waist. That's going to bug the hell out of me, is that super loose waist. But what uh, I'm seeing here, it feels like there's almost, like this is a hollow shell. His body's a hollow shell on top of an actual figure inside. It feels like there's like something else that this is connected to that is not this body. I don't know how better to explain that. Does he have upper bicep twist? He does. But that shoulder's too loose for you to really utilize that. He's got the single elbow. And then he's got wrist articulation. Of course, we just went over the waist. And it seems like you got just two bulky halves pegged together. And I feel like either this should have come up more or like the peg should have, I don't know. Like I feel like the peg should have been farther down in or something. Because you get a lot of that gap. Let's see if we can. Where is? Not sure if we can see this too well. But that gap, you can see it just bad but legs they got decent movement only thing that sucks is I'm getting a lot of paint chips flaking falling off here like I've got them all over my table here so you're definitely gonna be chipping away paint as you mess around with this guy that's the part that does suck it looks like I scratched him right there from just moving his leg there's like a little scratch in the paint that is a bummer but let's see if we can look at these legs here. Yep, we've got our standard thing we're used to with some of these bulkier things. And then we've got twist and articulation for the knee, ball, peg, foot, so you can rotate that, as well as an articulated foot. He does look sweet, though. He looks like a badass. Let's see if we can get a better pose here.
Look at that. He's a badass. For sure. Let's go ahead and pull out the rest of his stuff and take a look. So, we have got the gun. And I have complaints already. A toonie, too cartoony for my taste. I get it's for the Mirage line. Comic booky, pretty good accessory regardless. And everything looks really good. I'm not going to end up using it just because of how toony it is. Not my taste. Great accessory, though. Only thing I don't like is that it's got this sash around it. And it's, like, you're not putting that around him, like, anywhere. So that's just, like, there. Like, this is purse gun. <laughs> so, but you have got a uh, left and a right for a trigger hand. And, like, this pops in there real easily and stays there solid and everything. So... Let's just get this in. Oh, I popped in the other one real easy for me. Maybe I did it finger first. I don't remember. Maybe that's not a trigger finger. Yeah, because this one just pops in there real steady, like, holds real well. Probably the best trigger hand that I've actually seen. Because, like, I mean, like... Most of them, you either got to, like, really force jam it in there to get it to stay, or, like, you know, it gets in there and it wants to, like, do its own thing. This stays, like, but this is more of a grabby hand, then, if it's not a trigger hand, like I first thought. Now I'm seeing it, the fingers are a little bit different. I apologize for that. We have got two grabby-ish hands, one with the extra grab, one with a smaller grab. nothing really for him to grab with that though unless you're gonna have him be grabbing the gun somehow maybe this part of the gun the front part here i don't know but then you got two fists and each one of these of course has their articulation points for the wrist and then we've got his tail only thing i don't like about it is this little bit i'm not too familiar with how he looks in the comics so I don't know if that's like an intentional design of his or what, but we've got the peg here. Gonna put it right up the poop hole. So cool thing about this is that it is like a lot of their tails, super bendy. So you can kind of pose it how you want it once you get it up in there and everything. So this actually seems like an easier peg to deal with than I'm used to with these. So. Should I do it that way or that way? I feel like this way. Ah. That actually popped in there rather nicely. Wasn't that bad. So there we have our Triceraton Zog. Let's see here. He is a badass. I'm not going to lie. I love this figure. Uh, in case you're wondering, he's about 54 bucks in store after tax. I think he comes out to literally like $52.99 or something like that. 50, like somewhere around there. About 55 bucks is what you're planning on spending on him. Good luck hunting out there. Hope everybody had a good holothon. We'll see you next time.